Yeah. Okay, yeah, the mother prays. This is John. And John is John is uh is supposed to be going to school now. And thank you, Amy Zeka Fuse, uh, for sending in a donation. I, I decided Amy said put this donation anywhere that you you deem fit. And every time a donor says that, it's a blessing to us because then we get the liberty to choose. So then we chose uh, uh, John. And his eyes are bad. He has a condition that has been receding his eyes. And they just get worse and worse. Mm, inaendelea kuambaya. Inaendelea kuambaya. Wabadilishe. Sababu wakisha tumia, unakuta anatoa hivi kwa macho uchafu. Yani, hizi meisha nguwe. In fact, the mother says that she, she, the glasses should be changed mm. because they are now, you know, they, they are not they are not serving him well. Yeah, mm. it's over. Mm. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, karibu miaka nne. So he's had these glasses for almost four years. And uh, we bought him these glasses. Mm. And so he needs a change of glasses. And now that he's going to school, we don't know what we will do, but we will have to wait. They are only going for six Six or eight weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks. Yeah. Then when they come back, we shall get him glasses. And if you remember the mother, her name is Deborah. Deborah, Deborah and she is the nanny to uh, Esther's uh, children. She has been very instrumental in helping Esther. Okay, I should mention these guys. John got a donor, and that donor just disappeared. Uh, she didn't give us reasons you know we know we understand that situations change but it's good when you have been given an, uh, an opportunity to sponsor a child or a family it's just good that you tell us that things have changed and from today i will not be able to sponsor this child or to support this family please get somebody else to do that and we will do it but when you just leave and ceremoniously it's unfortunate so his donor just left. And so John has really been struggling. We have been helping. But as you know, we have too much to do. So if you chose to sponsor a child, please just do that. And when things change, because we understand circumstances change, please just, you know, let us know so that we can know how to go about it. Okay, so John is going to school now. Mm. They've done some shopping for him. Shopping, do you okay. Mm. <laughs> and thank you, Amy. When Amy brought in a donation, I said, this is for Johnny. So some little bit of that. And then we are, we are having, um, we are also paying school fees. Um, okay. Oh, and it's a special school. It's, it's a special school, so... There is a requirement that they must go with a box of milk. Mm. And so there we go. And he's going to school. And we are providing the school fees. So I'm so glad that uh, we have been able to do that. And back home, the mother, the husband left her years and years ago. Mm. Oh, for over 10 years, her husband just mm. ran away. And he's not dead. John is now 11. Mm. So maybe 10 years, you know. So he has been away all that time and she has been taking care of her Ali. children. Okay. So she has been instrumental. She, these are her kids. These are Esther's kids. But I didn't want to include them in this very, very important video for John. So I just say thank you so much, Amy. Because you gave now, John is is off to school, and we thank God for that. Oh, you need a report card. Okay, school for the visually impaired, Maseno, opportunity, not sympathy. <laughs> that is powerful. Okay, <laughs> I like that. I love that. Okay, the mother is Deborah Hanali and John Omokola. Okay. Let me just put it here so that we can see what the, our dude has been doing at school. Okay, assessment book for grade two.
competency-based curriculum. That is what we are doing in Kenya. We have what you call the CBC, competency-based curriculum. Grade 2, 11 years, male. Okay. So, this is how it's... Pronunciation to vocabulary needs to do a lot on sound recognition. Okay. Identify words. Okay. Needs to improve on reading. Oh, my. To make predictions, anticipate possible outcomes in a story of comprehension. Has difficulties in comprehension. Oh. Recognize the correct use of verbs. Should improve. Okay. Listen, recognize words of the target letter has in challenges in pronunciation and vocabulary. He has difficulty in reading. Needs support in comprehension. Needs assistance in language use. Needs assistance in pronunciation and vocabulary. So he really needs help. Um, and needs support in reading, needs support in all that. Okay, and in this type of uh, arrangement, they don't... So that is the report. It's a comprehensive thing that we cannot put uh, on, on video because it will just... <laughs> this is just put extra effort. So anyway, he's been improving over time. I think he's improved. Good. Oh, okay. Good, good. It's something good, good. I think that was the the beginning. That was very bad. And as he continues, you can see improved. Wow, he's improved. Okay. I'm happy for him. He's really improved. Okay, so that is... We are now going to the third term because academic in the academic year ends in uh, October so in October uh, yeah October next month mid next month they'll be coming back home and then they'll be home till next year okay yes I was in party mama yake basket and so um Anali has been supporting her with a basket. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Asante, Garibu Sara. Okay, oh. <laughs>